our children are going to be the best children, like, better than your other ones. <laughs> How can you have better children? So that, because I'm better than your man. Because if I wasn't better than your man, why am I here now and he's not here now? Unless he left you. Do you understand? So I'm saying my youths, our youths, the new things, are better than the old things. Because I'm better than your man. So by default, yeah, if I'm better than your man, that means... It's the same X chromosome, yeah, of yours. And then you got my Y chromosome. It's better than your man's Y chromosome. I'm better than your man, which means my youths are better than his youths, period. You know, like, it's not that hard to understand. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. Bro, she could have two youths now. Say she's got a two-year-old you and I get her pregnant tomorrow. I'm telling you, yeah, in five years' time, when my youth's five and your youth's eight, my youth will smack up your youth, blood. 100% my five-year-old's weighing in your eight-year-old, bro, because man's jeans are strong, fam. Man, I got them gladiator jeans, blood, I'm telling you. That's crazy, you know. No. On. On, no. Why not? Men and women can be friends. Actually, yeah. So men and women can be friends, but not my girl. So no, average men and women can be friends, but yeah. you wouldn't be with someone who has male friends? No, no she's dead finished. The male friends are finished. How would you end that relationship? And what if she said, I'm not actually, I'm not going to let go of my male friends? That is nuts. Then I'm out. Say if you stay with your male friends. What is it about male? Is it because you're insecure? Insecure. Bruv, what? Listen, one, why is she saying that, yeah? And two, why is he agreeing, bro? It's got nothing to do with insecurity, bro. If you understand, yeah, if you understand, yeah, like human dynamics, what benefit as a man yeah is there of me having a female friend bro and listen i've had men say to me oh but sometimes you want to talk to girls about bruv i do not talk to women about women because women lie bruv women lie bro they lie about everything like we're watching a woman lie right now she's saying one thing and do something else She's literally saying, oh, he's this, he's that. But then she's smiling and laughing, bro. She's enjoying herself. She's having a great time. But then she's going to the camera and saying, oh, I can't believe he said that. Can't believe he said that. What benefit as a man do you have having a woman as a friend, bro? When you go out, she's not going to pay for anything. You still have to protect her. Because if you're out with your female friend and someone grabs her purse, she's going to expect you to run man down and fight him. And you might get chefed. So hold on, yeah. You might have to pay for her. You might have to fight for her. She can't help you. Do you know what I mean? If you move into your new yard, you're not going to tell her, yo, come round, we're putting up furniture today. You're just not going to call her for that. You'll call the man then. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you need these things for, bro? You don't need them for nothing, bro. And the thing is, you're not going to call her and say, ah, oh, you know what? Come tidy my house and that. Because she, she'll be like, what do you mean? Like, bro, they are of no use no use to you if they're not freeing up the pumps bro it's just an expense bro that's all it is so why would you do that the only time you end up in them situations is if you stumble upon them situations yeah where you've literally grown up together yeah you've grown up together and it's not really a friendship it's more like it's more like an acquaintance or it's family at this point and when i say family it's like that cousin that you never see blood and you only see them at christmas you don't text them or whatever and you see them once a year that that's what it is that's the only kind of friendship it could be it's not a friendship where you're talking to him every day seeing him once a week and all that nah bro them things bro what have you got in common to be chilling with man and talking about and doing that even make no sense do you know what i'm saying that even make no sense these gal yeah have these men around because they portray themselves as independent but but the facts are they need men bro they can't do nothing on their own and that's why they need um that's why they need male friends that's why they need male friends because literally they say they're independent but they can't do stuff on their own if they hear a fucking noise in the night time they're calling their male friend to come over oh someone broke into my house or oh, i need help putting up my furniture you know like that. i told you these guys can't even open a jar of pickles on their own 
Do you know what I'm saying? So all this talk about, ah, oh, we don't need men. You do need men. And that's why they're befriending men, yeah? That they know fancies them. Ask most of these things, yeah? And they know that the brothers that they're friends with fancy them. And they know they could smash them if they want. They just won't admit it, but they know deep down. If they need a man to pick them up here yeah, and they're drunk and it's cold and there's no buses and that, they can call. All these girls have a man that they can call in their phone at three in the morning to pick them up. All of them. It is because yeah, you just, just trust. wouldn't trust it. Yeah, I don't what trust What if every time she was with them, mm. you were there too? They wouldn't be with me. Why? i will beat them up. Why would <laughs> you beat them up? They're just her friends. It's more insecure with the guys, if that makes sense. Why? Like, not with the girl. I just feel like the guys will be on it. They've, they've, they, you know what I mean? So you don't trust your girlfriend? No, I'm saying it's not that I don't trust the girl. Don't trust the I man. Don't trust the guy. Hundred. But if you trust your girl, no. nothing can happen with that guy. That ain't true. That ain't true. This is what I'm saying. Things are stupid, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Stupid. You know when they say, yeah, like, oh, if the girl, this brother, listen, women don't understand, yeah. You know what they need to understand? All this freedom, yeah, that they have in this world is because men allow them to have it, bro. They allow them to, bro. Because men, yeah, men enforce boundaries. Men are the ones that enforce the boundaries that women have. That's why we have police. That's why we have all these different things, bro. If men weren't there to back the beef for women, bro, they couldn't have no demands. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and that, that's the funny thing about feminism. When these women are out here hating men, it's like, the reason why you have your freedom is because there's men like me that if a man is troubling you on the road, I'll punch him up. You know, like that. If I see you getting stamped out, I'll back it. You know, like that. Because you can't stop him. You know them ones. Don't get me wrong, yeah? If he's weighing you in and you can't defend yourself, I'll back it for you. If you slap him and he gives you one slap... Um, uh, uh, you have to firm that in it but if he starts going too far and he starts weighing you in and i think your life's in danger i'll step in then you know like that but the bottom line is yeah the bottom line is we're the ones that enforce the boundaries you don't enforce the boundaries so when you're saying oh but if you trust her it's not about her do you know what I mean? Because you can trust your gal but if your gal is leaving the yard in a short skirt and you know she's not driving yeah as a man, even though you trust her, it's your responsibility to tell your girl, yo, you know what, you might have to change that because you're attracting unwanted flipping attention that really, you get me, you're on the roads, you're on public transport. Don't wear that, babes. You know, like that. That's crazy. You know what I mean? It's not because I don't trust you. It's because I know while going outside. No, no, no. I know nothing can happen, but I'm saying just the fact that the, how the man, what, in his brain, isn't it? So even just his thoughts... Yeah, I'm a mad man. That's but what, what if saying. he I was can't like even have mad thoughts around my girl? Mad thoughts around my girl is crazy. For so me. what if, yeah, you mm. were seeing you had a girlfriend mm. and your friends came around and met your girlfriend? Can't take this off. <laughs> Fuck this blood. Fuck it, blood. Yeah, spray said, allow it. My head's Head's getting mad, babe. Yeah, your friends came around. Normally I have a fade in that. And I look better with a fade, but But you didn't have time. I just, I'm great. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I do madness in my hair sometimes. You're just growing it out, bro. That's, bro, you, that's, that's me. Better. Sometimes I can't be asked. Just put the cap back on, babe. So. I <laughs> just said to put the cap back on. <laughs> See what I mean? These girls will say they're not judging you, but they're judging you. Everything you're doing, you know. Girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. You bring her around your friends, mm. your friends. Mm. And then afterwards, you overhear a conversation. Sorry, they got my hair like that day. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot they got my hairline out of there. That's one of the things they got out of there. I've got to put this back on. They got my hairline on my toes. How do you feel about um, having sex with your socks on? Because I've got to keep my socks on. <laughs> Why, what's wrong with your toes? Nothing. They just had, they, got, they caught it at a bad angle. <laughs> and then they zoomed in on it and just... They caught it at a bad angle in Dubai. I couldn't believe it, it was such an old pic. I thought, bloody hell. <laughs> I don't know, you're at home with her. Your friends have nipped around. She's making dinner, whatever. You've left the room. She's in a different room to them. And you walk, as you're walking back in, you overhear them. They're talking about, oh, your girlfriend's this. She's saying, they're saying really wild things. Nah. Thoughts about your girlfriend to nah. each other. What are you doing in my house talking like that? Yeah. I would mash them up. Yeah. If they think that, they should think that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're not out here trying to, we're not out here dealing with butters, girl. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll just think that standardly. Mm. Like my bridge is supposed to think my girl's nice. 
but they're not supposed to be talking like, yeah, they're Facts. not just dirty, you get what I'm saying? And they wouldn't, you wouldn't want them to tell you? Something goes without saying, innit? There's a saying, like, that thing. Yeah, but bro, it depends, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Listen, any of my guys, it's not for them to judge my thing. They're not saying, oh, she's bad or she's not bad. It doesn't matter, bro. Like, you expect me to be with nice girls because you know what I'm on anyway. Do you know what I mean? It's different. If I bring a, a new thing around the mandem, and she's around the mandem, and then after after she leaves, man are like, right, yeah, 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 she's bad still, she's bad, like, spud me, right? that's calm, that's normal. If she's in my yard, and man are in my house, and they see my ting, and then man are talking like, yo, yo, she's bad, and that, this, that, and the other, and they're not telling me that, and they're telling each other that, that's mad, man are scheming on your gal blood, like, why is she even asking that question? That's a weird question, fam. Things just, like, a better left hand said or whatever, yeah. Okay. Why are you telling me my girl looks nice? That's mind games to me. <laughs> mind yeah, games? Yeah, don't tell me my girl. I know my girl looks nice. She's my girl. That's okay. it. That's what you're telling me my girl looks nice for. It must be for another reason. You're not punching your face. Yeah, that's it. I didn't think of it like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know my girl. Women don't think about it like that because they don't understand. Do you know what I mean? Because they're so used to being the prey and never the predator. That's why they don't think about those things. Of course she didn't think about it that way. Because if man's girl was dead, they wouldn't say to man, oh, yeah, your thing's dead, you know. You know, like that. So come on, bro. You don't need to tell me she's nice either because you wouldn't tell me if she was dead. Oh, well, looks nice. What are you telling me what yeah. looks nice for? So you would, you'd find that disrespectful? Yeah. 100%. Answer's no. I ain't changing my life for no girl. You would? Mind games. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> so you would Mind then. games. You know I'm saying I would. But this is yes. Yes, Michelle. You're saying this to me, but Michelle. in reality, would you change yes. your... Yes, Michelle. How would you change it? Let's Depending yes, on Michelle. how. I've done this before. That is cap. I had to calm down. Do you know what I mean? Stop so, cheating. Stop going to prison. Oh. Do you know what I mean? All of that stuff. Change like, my lifestyle. How many times have you been to jail? Six or seven. Eight or nine now, six or seven. I can't remember. Six how do you seven. forget how many times you went to jail? Easily, because man just been in there bad times, man got bare friends in there, you know, like that. Man said six or seven, eight or nine, bare friends in there, you know, like that. It's, it, it gets like that, you know what I'm saying? For some man, it's like, bro, that's like asking me how many times I've been to the gym, fam. You know, like, bro, it just is what it is, isn't it? I mean, Spray's hilarious, bro. He's actually hilarious. I ain't changing my lifestyle for, lifestyle for no gal. Man, then, what you gotta understand is you're the gaffer, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? You're the gaffer and you're looking for you're looking for your star player. You're looking for your skipper. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone that understands the system that you want to play and someone that's going to be your voice on the pitch. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what you're looking for. You're recruiting, not the other way around. So we don't change the system for you. Do you know what I'm saying? But what we will do is we will make you an integral part of the system. But I'm not changing the system for you, blood. So... It is what it is. It's just like when Sari came in, he brought in Jorginho because he knew that he needed Jorginho in, to, in the six to play that system, innit? There's no Sari ball without Jorginho, blood. You could be my Jorginho, blood, but I'm not changing the system for you. That's crazy. I think she likes me still, you know? I think she's smelling, man, still, you know? 100! Couple years. What for? Selling drugs. Oh. Do you still sell drugs? No. Hell no. God. Is that why you changed your lifestyle? Was it for your baby mum? Like, I changed my life a bit, yeah, when I was with her. That's good. So you continue to grow and change your life yeah, like someone I, new? Every day I'm evolving. Done now, being in jail. Big up When spring. I was younger, being there, done that. Changing my life right now. What if That's it. Like Man's on the outside now, big up. And yeah, 100% as a man, never change for a girl. Because at the end of the day, be the man that you were when she got with you. Because you know what women will do, yeah? Women will get with you. They'll beat you to a pulp, yeah? Turn you into a bossy. That's what they'll do. They'll have you, and I don't speak from experience, but they'll have you agreeing with them, doing whatever they want. And you know when they say, oh, happy wife, happy happy life, a lot of men are under the thumb with their missus, yeah? And they just keep saying yes, just for an easy life. But bro, the more you say yes to a woman, the less she respects you, bro. Girl like to be told no. They do. Even though they won't admit it, do you know what I mean? All these girls come out and they say, you know the amount of time girls have come out and they've said, um, oh, a guy's too nice, he's too nice. Bro, you hear it all the time, fam. You hear it all the time. 
I've never heard a gal break up with her boyfriend and say, oh yeah, because he told me no too many times. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. But you always say, oh, he's too nice. He's too nice. You see gal on the dating profile say, oh, I want a man that's obsessed with me. No, they don't. Because that's called harassment, bro. The man that treat gal the worst are the man, yeah, that are imprinted on their brain forever, blood. That one brother, that, trust me, that one brother, yeah, that your gal can't get over, bro, he treated her the worst. Trust me, that toxic ex, bruv. You know them way there? I know it, bro. I know it, fam. Trust me, when you tell a woman no, yeah, and you stand ten toes on that decision, you say no. Not, not discussing this with you. Nah, shut up. Nah, it's not happening. Bro, they respect you, fam. I'm telling you. You know, like that. They respect you, blood. Even if they don't like it at the time, they're like, you know what? I can't bad him up. When a thing can't bad you up, yeah, they feel like, oh, you know what? This brother can protect me. If a girl can bad you up, yeah, she don't feel safe around you. That's crazy. How can, as a woman, how can you feel safe and protected by a man that you have complete control over? That doesn't make no sense because you're like, yo, if I can bad him up, then how can he protect me? That don't make no sense. She's looking at you like you're a little bozo, fam. So all this happy wife, happy life shit, nah, bro. You'll be happy when I'm happy. You know, like that. If I'm not happy, the whole thing lock off, blood. Like, I don't want you seeing certain friends. Bye, friends. What, Sorry, what? Bye? You're going you're gonna to listen to your pum for a minute. Oh, nah, okay. you're not. I nah. That. Yeah, you so you'll always listen to your wife? Pum, 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 pum. Nah, see, he's lying. He's lying. He's just saying pum, 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 pum. It's a beat thing. He's not believing that, bro. I'm not looking off my bridges for no girl. That's impossible. Beyonce was right. Crutches run the world. Crutches runs the road. No, like, no, The second the, the girl says no crutches, it's a mad, the yard's mad now. So she can control He's anything 100%. you do? He not, any, not anything. What's the boundary then? Groceries. <laughs> she definitely licks bum, mate. <laughs> she definitely does a bit of groceries. <laughs> she definitely does a bit of groceries. What is wrong with spray, man? Bro, spray is trolling 100%. When he said he'll look off the, the bridge and bro, he's playing. This is mind games. This is elite Jedi mind tricks that Spray is doing. Because he doesn't believe this. He doesn't believe this. There's no way he believes. There's no way he believes that he would lock off his bridge and for girl. It's impossible. Like, no man's really doing that. That's about his soul. He, he's a bit crazy. She called me crazy, you know. I can't believe she took funny. Like this. Funny. I've got a hard on. No. I've got a new... For what? You. I don't know. It's the, the, the eyes. I don't. I swear that I've got him. I don't think you should say that out loud. Did he just tell me he's got a hard on? What? See, look at her face. Look how she fluttered her eyelashes. Man said, I, I got wood right now. And her eyelashes, fluttering her eyelashes. She's not offended by any of this. How comfortable she is in this situation tells me, bro. she been a bat, fam. You know what I mean? And she's probably on the older side as well, probably towards the, the late 30s as well. What would you do if I proposed to you? Say yes. Come on, let's do it now. I think he's in love with me. <laughs> I'll say yes right now. You would. Man said I'll say yes. Bro, this is the same brother that said, bro, she's got two kids, I'm out of here, yeah? And then he's like, I'll say yes. He's running game. This is funny, bro. Do you know what I mean? But I like, I like her personality. She's good vibes, innit? She's much better vibes than the other thing, for sure. Much better vibes. Much better vibes, do you know what I mean? She's definitely a lot less... A, a lot less full of herself. You can tell, innit? She's got a, she's got a very, like, chilled vibe, innit? You know what I mean? She don't think too much of herself. Like, you can run banter with her. But actually say yes. Ask me. Would you marry me? No. No? Right now. You want to get married right now? You. No. So why are you asking me for? That's it. That's me, sir. It's mind games, then. That's what I'm saying, so... I ain't marrying her. She's got two kids, man. So you would actually say yes to a woman if she proposed to you? Yes, Spring. If I wanted to. Would you not feel emasculated? Because you're a man. No, because I'm, I've got the to... dick. So how can I feel emasculated? Because the you're the one that's supposed to get down on one knee and ask. No, 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 I didn't. I talked too long. She did. And you would have feel no way about no, that? No, she done it first. And you would just say, yeah, go on then, let's get married. Yeah, go on then, bro. Yeah, yeah never, 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 never. You will never catch me proposing to a man. Never, under any circumstance. Never, that is a man's bro. job, through and through. Facts, bro. If a thing ever, ever, ever tried to propose to me, that's crazy.
trust me that is crazy nah that could never happen bro At the end of the day everything happens on my schedule bruv you know like that that's what it is like i said i'm the gaffer bro i make the substitutions when i want to make the substitutions i can't have players on the pitch pressuring me telling me to make a change what do you mean who's in charge here Fuck taking a piss you know like that what you take me for blood imagine imagine you're the gaffer and you got players on the pitch saying to you yo like take him off who you f talking to what would you do if i couldn't cook <sighs> Fucking, i would have to teach her well i can't teach you because i can't cook but i'm saying Someone would have to make my sister teach you Hey, bro, man is not teaching this girl how to cook. Are you mad? What are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? This woman can't sit here and say, yeah. She can't sit here and say, I need a man that makes more money than me. This, that and the other. And then come through and you can't cook? Shut up. I'm not hearing it for a second. She can definitely cook, bro. One thing about them, them Philly gal is they're domesticated. What if I didn't want to learn? Then you'd have to want to have another boyfriend. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't be with someone who couldn't cook? No, why can't you? Like, mm. At least learn, innit? Hondo. So you don't want to cook? You want your woman to cook? And iron. What's this about ironing? Why are you fixated on ironing? No, I'm not fixated. I'm just saying ironing, washing dishes, washing the clothes. One thing. I don't mind ironing. Bachelor, I don't yeah, mind ironing I mean, still. I like ironing, like, bro. But washing the dishes, like, all of that shit, like, changing like, the bed sheets, that's, that's, that's hurting, bro. Yourself, it's like, that's hurting, that ain't me, bro. You realise what they actually used to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, used to, they still do. No, but I'm saying in a relationship, innit? When you're on your own, oh, and you okay. realise, rah, oh, so I've you, got to do all of this stuff. Now you realise how much you Do you know what I mean? Like, rah, I've got to do all of this now. Like, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Yeah. Mm, I get what you're saying there. Even walking in Sainsbury's with a trolley, like, fuck off. <laughs> so you want a do you know woman like, to just that do about? everything <laughs> for you? Just like a fucking off. <laughs> Oi, this bros, hey, Spray is hilarious, you know. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's so funny, blood. Was it, oh, he loves that geezer thing. He loves that geezer impression. Is bloody hilarious, bruv. That's all in Sainsbury's. Do you know what I mean? So you need a woman that And this bare girl as well. You're walking past bare girl, they could see he's single. Or oh, maybe you're just a devoted partner. Double standards again. That's an idiot. I was, I was never the one guy. <laughs> like, I was never the one doing the shopping. That's mad. But yeah, trust me. You could do a thing, you know, if you got like a job or whatever, it's all my, that's fine, you know, residual income, that's fine. But I'm saying, like, the main focus has to be kids. The kids. Yeah. And you. Always. And not her kids. Fuck her kids. If <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to throw her kids in the fucking True dustbin. story, to be fair, I'm not... Bin them! This is what I'm saying, and this is why a man can't have next man's kids, bro. This is why, because bro, in the animal kingdom, you see when a new alpha comes here yeah, and he and he draws the thing, he kills all the youths that ain't his, bro. That's what he does, bro. Like biologically, as a man, yeah, we are disgusted by the thought, yeah, of taking care of someone else's children, bro. We are repulsed by it, really. You know them ones. It's one of them things where we do it as a last resort, blood. You know, like that. Like, unless the dad is dead, bro. Like, he's got to be dead and out of the picture, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? These are not popular things to say, but these are how men really feel, blood. That's how they really feel, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You're that dad and then some someone else's kids are disrespecting you. Do you know what I mean? It's one thing getting disrespect from your kid, but getting disrespect from someone else's you, blood. It's crazy. You know, like that. And then when you've got them mixed together in a house as well, and you've got different dads and two's yours and two's hers, blood. It's like, there's no way you're going to love the two that's hers more than you love the two that's yours. It's impossible. It's impossible. I don't care who you are, bro. I don't care who you are. You could be Russell Wilson, blood. You know, like that. You ain't going to love another brother's you more than you love yours or even the same. I don't care, bro. I don't care how it sounds. I don't care how it sounds. I'm not even trying to even get, but I'm trying to work with you a bit. I'm trying to, I, I mean, if I got into a relationship with someone and we had children, mm. my children aren't being pushed aside. My children will be a priority always. No, but that's what I'm saying. But... Yeah, a priority to you, but not to him. Do you understand? And this, this is exactly what I'm saying, that your children's going to be a priority to you and our children's going to be a priority to me. And this is why it can't run. Our children are going to be the best children, better than your other ones. <laughs> How can you have better children? So that... Because I'm better than your man. Because if I wasn't better than your man, 
Why am I here now and he's not here now? Unless he left you. Do you understand? So I'm saying my youths, our youths, the new things, are better than the old things. Because I'm better than your man. So by default, yeah, if I'm better than your man, that means it's the same X chromosome, yeah, of yours. And then you got my Y chromosome. It's better than your man's Y chromosome. I'm better than your man, which means my youths are better than his youths. Period. You know, like, it's not that hard to understand. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. Bro, she could have two youths now. Say she's got a two-year-old you and I get her pregnant tomorrow. I'm telling you, yeah, in five years' time, when my youth's five and your youth's eight, my youth will smack up your youth, blood. 100%. My five-year-old's weighing in your eight-year-old, bro, because man's genes are strong, fam. Man, I got them gladiator genes, blood. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. So Imagine that's I why said, no, my, I'm my saying, old child's going to be better than your child no, but that you that's already have. Why, no, but can you see why I can't be with a girl that's got youths? Yeah. Come my youth's got to be the golden child. Facts. What if your baby mum got a new boyfriend? That's what I'm just about to say. She yeah. could end up with, but I'm still about. Do you get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> You're not about, really. You see your kid and that's it. No, I am. That's oh, what I'm saying. About. No, I'm saying about like as if you're going to bump into me, is mm. what I'm saying. Mm. And I'm, it's long, innit? That's why man can't do the baby dad thing, bro. Bruv, any girl that has my baby, bruv, you're stuck with me. Because if you think I'm going anywhere, and then man have to come back the yard and there's next man in the yard chatting to my you is crazy. It's not happening. So how did you find the date today? Well, I don't know, you know, Miss. It's a bit, I'm not sure. I don't, I, I don't know. She's going to go jail right. and leave you with two years. I don't know, innit? One minute, I don't know. I, I felt like it was all right. See, she wants reassurance again. How did the date go? He's like, I don't know. She's like, why, why, why? Bro, this is, this is what I told you guys about attention for these women bro listen this woman will turn around yeah and say that you know what i don't like him he's weird he's all of this but as soon as you tell her that you didn't have the best time yeah she's like what do you mean bro she wants you to love her and she'll still diss you bro that this is what women want to do but they're using you as an ego boost blood then it went all right then it was all right then it went all right so you just overthinking it yeah because you're in love I'm a madman, isn't it? Yeah. Look at her, yeah. validation, because you you're in love. I'm not in love yet. I think you are. Why do you think I'm in love? Because you've literally not stopped looking at me. But that's how I am. Deep, I'm, deep eyes. I'm, that, is my eyes mental as well? They got my eyes out of there as well. Not stop looking at me. Where am I supposed to look? Why am I supposed to look? When I was looking at, when I was looking at, um, when I was looking at Tia and Tamara, bruv, when I was looking at the twins, yeah, you was telling me that my eyes are here, so now I'm looking at you. Now you're saying I'm in love because I'm looking at you. What do you mean, bruv? She's the one that wants validation, you know? Do you know what I mean? The one thing you should never do, guys, on a date or even after a date, don't ask a girl how it went. Don't tell her you had a good time. Don't tell her anything. Don't seek any reassurance from her and don't give her any either. Don't give her any. You know, like that. Let her ask you. If she doesn't ask you, do you know what I mean? Don't say nothing. And even when she does ask you, yeah, be very vague, bruv. Because most of the time, it's just for her ego. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Because girls don't really care if you had a good time. I'll be real. Do you know what I mean? What they want to know really is, how did I come across? Does he like me? That's what it is. They don't care if you really had a good time. They don't care. Because it's about them on the day. Just like on the wedding day, it's about the woman. The woman don't give a shit if you have a good wedding day. It's her day, bruv. You know, like that. So don't ever think that when you're on a, on a date with a woman, it's about both of you. It's about her. It's always about her. And as soon as you understand that, you'll know not to ask these questions. When you start asking women, oh, like, did you have fun and all these other... Bruv, you come across bare needy and, like, you're trying to impress her. Never do that. You know, like that. Never, ever, ever do that. I think, I think me and Shaw's going to rate me about a five because, obviously... Like, the girl has been getting me out of there, innit? Plus, my big mother told me that I'm obnoxious. <laughs> I'm going to give Spray... Laugh, you know. Based Where's on she the from? fact that he was funny, I'm going to give him a 6.5. Six and a I half? very vulgar. And I am not a vulgar woman in the slightest. Nah, brother. Hey, Spray... Spray smoked that. You know what I'm saying? Man said a six and a half and... Nah, that's a... That's a vile. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's a vile. I can't lie. He was entertaining. He was funny. 
You get me? And he carried he carried it, bro. Like he was he was conducting the orchestra the whole time, bro. That was not a six and a half. That's a vile blood. I can't even lie, bro. Spray spray done his thing there. Do you know what I'm saying? And and that's what I mean. Oh, she's from Leicester, yeah? Say less. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Midlands thing. Alright, cool. Yeah, he done his thing, man. He done his thing, bro. I can't lie. He he entertained her. For her to say six and a half. This is what I'm saying, guys. Look at what women do, not and don't listen to what they say. Do not listen to what they say because she says six and a half, but that's the kind of gal here that will say, Oh, you know what, cool, yeah. He's I wouldn't go out of him, but them gal will still let you chop. They'll still let you chop, bro. Do you know what I mean? Women don't need women don't need to like you, yeah, to let you chop. They don't need to. They just need to respect you. That's it, bro. Like women will chop guys that they hate, you know. They'll be like, yo, I hate this guy. Everything about him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. And they'll still get chopped, bro. They do it all the time. Trust me. They'll be bad gal, but I hate my boss at work. He's a prick. He's this, that, and the other. Two twos, Christmas party. They're getting chopped. This is how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So the game is the game, bro.